Hello bees, just a very quick update because I've only got 5% battery in case you were wondering what am I up to today? So I have just been out in the wild literally just scouting for this. I got us some more lavender. So I've picked out plenty. We've got, we got so many roots in there. And the um, reason why I've went for more is because those ones, they seem to have caught on, which is, you know, incredible news. Now our, as you can see, our herbs, I'm hoping it's not weeds, our herbs have started coming out, which is great. And um, over here, I've planted some fantastic flowers, um, which my Russian teacher brought me last week in our morning session. So I've planted those over here. Hopefully they'll catch on as well. I think they were spring flowers, but regardless, had to try. If not, I'll plant something else in their spot. I'm going to continue, obviously, you know, the stone edge over here and i'm gonna get those bad boys in here yeah good news always done so here we have them just watered them nicely i've waited you know kind of towards the end of the day because it was quite hot today and you know you shouldn't be watering your plants when it's too hot should either wait for the morning or you know obviously the evening but um i've just you know i've just gone through the beehives I had a, you know, I had a good look, I fed them, you know, they don't need to be fed, but I told you, I'm going to spoil them at every chance I have, so that's exactly what I did, I fed them, I gave, the, uh, I gave them also some of their favourite medicine, you know, the, the oils I've been showing you guys, and uh, yeah, they do seem a lot more energised now, stung a couple of times, but it was my fault I was trying to I was trying to weed out in front of the beehives as you can see them they have come out their hives now they've become a little bit more energetic so yeah so I fed them today with the idea that um, I would like to open them up you know at least one more time before they've hibernated this winter so the idea is that I really want to have a look at the eggs and see what the winter brood is looking like in every beehive. And also I do want to make sure that each beehive has, whoops, sorry, there was a bee in my face. Each beehive has at least 10 to 15 kilos of honey in each, um, in each of them, because, you know, on average, that's what a family needs, you know, to survive a hard, you know, a harsh winter over here in Bulgaria. As I say, looking at 10 to 15 kilos of honey each, um last time i opened them up they had plenty so I, i'm not really worried but you know what they say better be safe than sorry so i would open them up at least one more time as i say have a look see what the winter brood looks like you see the ones with the stones on top of them so i've got six marked those ones i've marked them because last time i opened them they had plenty of brood and they could have done with another you remember them strips that I've attached in between the frames, that, you know, for the you know, which is the winter medicine. It stays there for a couple, sorry, not couple, uh, four to six months. And um, yeah, we basically die. It does. It basically is the best medicine on the market for varroa. You know, the little, the little terrible mites have been troubling us and every single beekeeper around the world. So yeah, I've come with the best medicine. Didn't want to take any chances. But as I say, as I say, you know, those um, those six over there, they've had more brood since we've attached the strips. And now I was looking for another, you know, I'm gonna look for another four beehives, which could do with another strip because in the pack there is ten of them. And if I was to use only six of them, then that is four gone to waste. And I really don't want to waste them because they're 60 quid each. So yeah, how about no? Anyways, I'm literally just going to now water our trees. We have first one, the Vodi over here. And that that one down there. God damn, the sunset's actually quite nice. Wow. All right. Have a good day, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. And I'll chat to you soon, guys.